Everyone, this is Three Questions with Dr. Keisha Campbell. See? Okay, everyone, uh, Keisha is actually, weirdly enough, we're like super tight, good friends, and this is the only second time we've ever actually taught, we've even seen each other, we only met in person once, and we just connected right away, and we've been, you know, just supporting each other ever since, so I am like so excited to talk to you, Uh, we always like talk, you know, on Instagram and connect in that space too, but uh, I'm so excited to, you just, every time I connect with you, you lift me up, and I'm going to talk more about when I first met you and how you lifted me up in our other podcast, but Keisha, thank you so much for being here. And thanks for all that you do to like, just lift people up in the world. It's just something that I really appreciate. And so I'm going to start off and asking you because you lift so many people up. When you look back at your, you know, your education career, who's a teacher that inspired you and why? Yes. Um, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Melly Vanelli brought us together. That's right. That's right. (laughs) Melly Vanelli. (laughs) But um, a teacher that inspired me. So my fifth grade teacher, Miss Whitaker, was her name, is her name. Um, Such a special woman. She would, um, I lived an hour away from my school and my parents worked an hour away from that. So we did a lot of traveling growing up. And because of that, I had to stay at school late in the evening, sometimes till 536 o'clock. for my parents to pick me up, but she was always there and she would always allow me to come into her classroom after school, do my homework and play the piano because uh, I played the piano and sometimes I'd have recitals coming up, but she was so nice. She was the first teacher that had this incentive program that for good behavior, she would give us like little tickets and every quarter, if we had um, enough tickets that added up to like money, Mm -hmm. she would take her own money and take us to like this neighborhood, like um, pizza place called Frankie's that Mm -hmm. was on the corner. And we get like chili cheese fries and everything. And she was just really encouraging, really nice. She helped me with my grade so I could go to summer camp that (laughs) summer. (laughs) She was just really special. And she loved Moon River by Henry Mancini. And so it was there that I practiced that song to surprise my dad for um, one of my um, recitals. So is this like, Mo- is this like Moon, R- Ma- Moon River that like Sinatra sings too? Like, well, you got it. I mean, is this, uh, this is a song you're talking about Moon River? Yeah. Moon River by um, Henry Mancini breakfast at Tiffany's. It was in that movie oh. with Audrey Hepburn. This is, this is why we're besties. We like love the same things like Moon, yes. Moon River. Like that song. Yes. Really? Yes. That song. Really? I love that. Yes. I love that. Yeah. And do you, I would just sit in her classroom. Do you, do you still connect with her? I don't. Um, sometimes when I'm on the freeway and I pass like my, the school, mm. I always think like maybe I should just drive by and see if she's still there. Um, I have a friend whose daughter still goes to the school and she says that she's actually still teaching. Seriously. And, and what's her name? Yeah. M- Mrs. Whitaker? Mrs. Whitaker. Yeah. Okay. Whitaker. Do you know what? This is this is why we do this podcast because Miss Whitaker. Susan B. Whitaker. Shout I out. That. Yes. <laughs> Miss Whitaker, I love you. I really do. You're invited to my wedding when it happens, whatever. <laughs> that's that's amazing. And I, I hope, I like. I, th- I think a lot of the, one of the reasons that I actually do this podcast specifically is because I think a lot of times teachers yeah. don't know these stories, right? These stories that we have and like yeah. probably second nature. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of, I bet you she was that person because it's typically, it's not a teacher is just that for one kid. Do you know what I mean? Like so many kids, yeah. you know, have done that. And so I just love that. And, and I love that, you know, I love the moon river connection. I had no idea about that too. Yeah. I'm going to send you a, a, yeah, a, a yeah. I don't know if like, I, that's, that's me. I didn't know it's Henry Mancini was the original. Is that true? I think he's the composer. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, this is, I love this. I love this. I love connecting with you. So, okay. So yeah. now the second question, yeah. you know, you work with a lot of administrators, uh, a lot of principals. Yeah. So can you highlight one, maybe when you're a student, maybe someone you work with, like who's one that inspired you and why? Yeah. Okay. So my high school principal, Mr. Hampton, he was so cool. You know who he reminded me of? Phil Jackson. Really? <laughs> Literally. No. I love it. Yes. The same build, same <laughs> demeanor, same kind of zen. 
Um, I remember it was my best friend's birthday. Uh, last minute, she was kind of sad because like nobody really celebrated. Mm -hmm. And lunchtime, he called us all into his office and he had pizza there. It was like three girls and him and we were having pizza and we were so excited because we were like, yeah, the principal bought us pizza. But he was just so cool. And he lived by um, Raging Waters, which is like this big theme park out here, water park in California. So I just always thought that was really cool. He just was very calm. Nothing really sh rattled him. Um, that is very Phil Jackson. -y. For real, even when I yeah. would get into trouble for like my uniform or not wearing it correctly or whatever, he would just be like, Keisha, just tuck in your shirt. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> so he was just really nice. And I just enjoyed that. He just made, made the campus feel safe and comfortable. So, so, so when you, him. when you actually just shared that story, I remember, uh, Jimmy Cassis, he's a very good friend of mine. He's, he was a principal at the time. He works, uh, he, yeah. he's a consultant and it just, I remember, so I was in this school and it was like a really interesting moment. So they have a no hats rule in the school and yeah. whatever. Like, I don't know why, why they do, why they don't, whatever. This is years ago. And yeah. I remember actually, um, I saw a teacher say to a kid, and they just like pointed and they went hat and they're like, you know, and just said it like that, like hat and the kid. And I so I'm sitting, I'm just sitting on a bench and I don't like, I'm a visitor to the school. Don't know what's going on. So the kid like, you know, is like, uh, like rolls her eyes and like pulls her hat off and then, and then, and then pulls a hat off and then, and then the teacher walks by and then the, the kid looked and then as soon as the teacher's gone, boom, hat right back on. Okay. Right. And I, I never, I'll never forget that. And then Jimmy actually, uh, he saw the kid. And so like, you know, he's a principal, he's, you know, like this is something they've decided as a school and, and Jimmy, uh, is bald. Right. And yeah. Jimmy comes up to the kid. So I, like, he doesn't know I saw this and he comes up to yeah. the kid and he's like, dude, like, you know, the rule about hats and like, here I am with no hair and you have this gorgeous hair. And you're yeah. hiding it and it's like you're rubbing it in my face. Okay. You're doing yeah. this. And like, you know, I just like if I had your hair, I would just be showing it all day and doing this stuff. And the kid like Jimmy never even said to take off the hat and the kid just took off his hat and never put it back on. That's amazing. And it was it was like it was just the demeanor and the the way that he, you know, like did like and obviously he had a relationship with the kid and you know, like yeah. some kids, you know, I knew that if you joke with them, you could actually you know, help them yes. see things. I knew some kids and that's part of that relationship piece that if I did that, that would be like the exact wrong approach with that child, but you have to know them. So, yeah. um, so now like, I can't remember the principal's name because I think it's, I think it's Phil Jackson. That's who I got in my head. <laughs> that's all that matters. We could call him Phil number two. Okay. Phil number Mr. Hampton. <laughs> Mr. Hamp Hampton, Phil number two, shout out. Actually, his first name was Phil Hampton. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. So last question. And so you do a lot uh, of work with, uh, with students, you do a lot of work with social emotional learning and I'm probably, I'm guessing, you know, the last year it's been pretty easy, right? Everyone's just been okay. Right. <laughs> like no one's, had, <laughs> everybody's, no one, I know what's everyone's going just on. Been There's super no calm and everything's, you know, like obviously, you know, people have been, uh, super overwhelmed. And yeah. when you look at your career and, and like I said, every time I connect with you, you just lift me up. And I actually, I think part of the reason that I so am connected with you is because I also watch you lift other people up, but, I, but, and I don't know if you just woke up one day and that's just how you were, but I'm assuming well, like you've grown, <laughs> you've, honest. you've grown to be, you know, that person. Yeah. So like when you look back at the beginning of your career, what advice would yeah. you give yourself, you know, that you, to help yourself out to where you are now? Um, continue to be me. Mm -hmm. I think that, um, I've, when I was younger, in fifth grade, mm -hmm. I, I knew what I wanted to do. I didn't know what it was. I remember telling my parents, I want to talk to kids, sit on the couch and play with dolls. And they're like, what are you talking <laughs> about? No, you're going to go to, you're going to go to medical school. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Um, but I was, uh, you know, the cliche stories. I was always the go-to person mm -hmm. that people would go to. Um, but then as I got older and went, started my schooling, that's when they tried to kind of mold you into, you know, what a proper therapist, what a proper mm -hmm. professional would be. And that's when I kind of felt, you know, caged in a little bit. Mm -hmm. I just always wanted to be myself because that's where I found the most progress with people. They felt that I could relate to them. I, you know, we're not always serious. Everything doesn't have to be so strenuous and stressful. You know, we can solve problems in a 
by telling a joke, we can solve problems in creative ways. And so I would just tell myself to, to be yourself, be confident in yourself, bring all aspects of you to every single space that you're in, because um, in those spaces, you never know who you're inspiring. You never know who's looking at you and you never know what you can learn. And that's what I learned from you too, is to pay attention to your students um, because they're mirroring things back to you, you know, and, and you can learn how to interact and you can learn how to problem solve and you can learn just how to be free by watching them. So I would just tell myself to, to just be yourself, be confident in yourself and continue to walk that path. I, I got to ask you, I got to ask you this question and I, I have a perspective on it, but I just, you know, you, you're yeah. the expert in this area. If you, if you aren't your authentic yeah. self, cause you work with students, like, aren't they able to read that better than seemingly adults in yeah. some ways? Like, oh, right. Isn't Listen, it? my first day of, of working in the school district, yeah. a kid looked at me and he was like, uh, you got a big forehead. <laughs> like, first day, just, uh, okay, thanks. <laughs> but I went right back at it, but I was like, you don't need a little lotion. You're a little dry around your, your mouth and around <laughs> your hands. And he kind of looked at me and he was like, yeah. I said, do you see how that feels when somebody puts you on the spot and, and calls out really? on your I appearance? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I give it right. right. You know what? And that week, um, I was really nervous. My first time in a school yeah. district with the school. And that week, by just doing that and the other kids seeing how I interact, I remember it was raining that day. And so I was in charge of watching the kids during lunch recess. Mm -hmm. And I was like so nervous. I'm like, all these kids in this room, they don't know who I am. They're not going to respect me. And so it was really rowdy, rowdy in the room. And I remember one kid stopped this other kid and he said, um, I overheard him. He said, hey, don't disrespect this, the classroom like this. Don't disrespect her like that. She's really nice. And I just wow. stood back and I was like, wow, you know, what? your niceness and you being approachable right. can actually help in situations and the kids stick up for you. And so I didn't even have to do anything. I was like, okay, nice. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I, and I, and I, I know this about you and I know we've only like interacted in person once. And I'll tell you that I, yeah. I was, when I met you, I wasn't having a very good day and I was my authentic self. And you are your authentic self. Yeah. And that's what helped me kind of get yeah. through that and lifted me up. And, you know, I know that, uh, that, that is something I appreciate because you didn't like, it's not only like you were your authentic self, but I felt I could be what I was going through that day. And so I, I just really appreciate you. I, I really appreciate you. And I'm like pumped to talk to you more. And I'm pumped that more people are going to like, you know, hear about you. And because we're both big Laker fans, we're going to play out. Thank you so yes. much for being on the podcast. But we got a little I love LA Probably Probably you and I Probably you and I are the only people listening to this podcast That have any idea what song this is That's okay This is championship music championship Only music. champions hear this song Okay I love it Alright thanks everyone for and listening this reminds me of America. <laughs> Thanks for listening I hope you have a wonderful day Bye